Hey guys, how's it going? Tech Guy Charlie here. Welcome to the channel. So in this video, I am going to show you some of the best, legit, hidden features on Samsung Galaxy smartphones. So we will be covering the features that people don't really talk about. This is gonna be very interesting. And I will be using the Galaxy Z Flip to demonstrate these, but these features should be the same across every Samsung Galaxy smartphone. So if you've got the S22 Ultra or the Note 20, your phone is gonna have all of these features. Alright, so without wasting any time, let's start the video. So I have seen many people taking photos of documents like this. So don't do this. Instead, while taking a photo of a document, tap on this yellow button and the phone will automatically detect the document and crop the photo for you. You'll also get an option to extract text out of documents, which you can copy and paste wherever you want. That is amazing, right? And then if you want, you can send it over as a plain text message. Now, if your Galaxy is running a slightly older version of the software, then you will have to tap on the scan button to scan the document and then tap on the T button to extract text. It is the exact same thing, but with a slightly different UI. By the way, for this feature to work, make sure that scene optimizer and scan documents is enabled in the camera settings. One of the best features on Samsung Galaxies is that the phone can identify simple things in your photos. For example, the phone is able to identify different breeds of dogs and various types of flowers. So this feature can come in very handy at times. Let me show you how it works. So open the gallery and select a photo in which you want to identify stuff. For example, let's have the phone identify the breed of this dog. All you have to do is tap on this eye button at the top right hand corner of the screen. The phone is gonna scan the picture and tell you the breed of the dog. So there you go, this is a golden retriever. Now let's try a flower. So I have no idea what kind of a flower this is, but the phone is able to identify this and throw up more information about it. And you can actually tap here to go to Wikipedia to read more information about it. This is such an awesome feature right oh and here's a fun fact you can actually search for photos inside the gallery using the built-in search engine of the phone so let's open up the app drawer and tap here so check this out i'm gonna type dog and the phone is gonna show us pictures of dogs that are in the gallery awesome right and if i type flower it's gonna throw up pictures and videos of flowers that are in the gallery and to be more specific, I'm going to type in the name of a flower. For example, let's type in hibiscus. And there you go. It's now showing us pictures of the hibiscus flower that are in the gallery. That is actually quite impressive. I stumbled upon this accidentally and I find this feature to be quite useful. And speaking of gallery, one setting that you should enable is full screen scrolling. So open gallery, tap on these three lines and then select settings. Over here, enable full screen scrolling. So after enabling this, you will be able to scroll in full screen through your gallery. It just makes the gallery look super cool. Sharing files between Samsung devices is super easy. You can use a feature called Quick Share to quickly transfer files between two Samsung devices. So let's select a couple of photos and a video and send these over to the S21 Plus, which I've got right over here. So once you are done selecting, tap on the share button and then tap on quick share. And you will see the other phone right over here. So here is our S21 Plus. Tap on it and the phone will start sending over the files. And one of the reasons why I like this feature is because the file transfers are super fast. And there you go. That barely took less than 5 seconds. And all of the stuff that we just sent over is inside the quick share folder. Now to use quick share, you gotta make sure that the phone is discoverable. So what we are gonna do is go to settings, then scroll down to advanced features and then quick share. Now inside who can share with you, make sure that this is set to anyone nearby or else the other phone will not be able to see your phone. Now, if you wanna share files with a non Samsung smartphone, you can use a feature called link sharing. This feature allows you to share about 5GB worth of files via a secure link and it also works cross-platform. Let me demonstrate. So here I've got a Nokia Lumia which is running Windows. Now on our Samsung phone, we are going to select the files that we want to share. 
once you are done selecting tap on the share button and then quick share now here you get two options you can share the photos and videos using a qr code or manually send the link via text messages or email we are going to select the qr code option and the phone will display a qr code now on our nokia lumia we are going to scan the qr code using a qr code scanner app and then we can open the link in the web browser and as you can see all this stuff that we just shared from our samsung phone is right here and you can even download these if you would like so link sharing is a great way to share large files with a non-samsung smartphone now the files are still on samsung's cloud so if you want to delete them and stop people from accessing then go back to the quick share settings and then tap on link sharing history tap here and finally stop sharing and all of the files will be removed from the cloud. So once we refresh, you'll notice that the files are no longer there. Did you know that you can paste a note on your home screen? It might be something important which you don't want to forget, maybe someone's birthday or a list of groceries. So to paste a note on your home screen, pinch in and tap on widgets. Look for Samsung Notes and select the single note widget and tap on add. Now pick the note that you want to see on the home screen. So this is the one and bam, there you go. And now we can resize this and place it somewhere more convenient. Let's also make the widget a little transparent. We will set this to black and reduce the transparency to about 40%. So this way you can pin your important notes right on the home screen. All right, so you've taken some beautiful photos and videos with your Samsung Galaxy smartphone. And now you want to transfer them to your PC. And the usual way of doing it is by connecting the phone to the computer via USB. Now, what if I told you you no longer have to connect the phone via USB to your computer just to transfer some files between your phone and your PC? You can now transfer files completely wirelessly. And the application that makes this possible is called Samsung Flow. Now, apart from wireless file sharing, this app actually does a lot more. Like, you can view your phone's display on your Windows PC, and this allows you to open up apps that are installed on your Samsung phone. Amazing, right? So, the first thing you will have to do is download and install Samsung Flow on both your PC as well as on your phone. On a Windows PC, you can get this app from the Microsoft Store. And here it is. And on your phone, go to the Play Store and download and install the Samsung Flow app. Once installed, launch the apps on both your PC as well as on your phone and then follow the on-screen instructions to pair both of these devices. I selected the Wi-Fi option since both the PC and the phone are on the same network. Once you finish the setup, you will see this screen. And lastly, give the app all the permission it needs so that it can function properly. Now to transfer files wirelessly from your phone to your PC, all you have to do is press on the plus button and select image, video, and you can also pick any files from the file manager. For demonstration, let's transfer over some photos. We will go to the gallery and select a few of them and then press on done. And there you go, it is now sending full size photos onto our PC. And you can see the file transfer speed is actually quite fast. This is because the app uses your local Wi-Fi network. And all of these are stored in a folder called Samsung Flow, which is inside the pictures folder. And here are the pictures that we just transferred over wirelessly. And if you want to send something over from your computer, then tap on the plus button and select any file that you want. Let's send this video over. So it is sending and because the file transfers happen on our local network, the speed is pretty good. And there you go. This feature makes sharing files between your phone and your PC quite easy. And other than this, you can also control your smartphone completely wirelessly using your Windows PC. Just tap on this button to start the remote control feature. And there you go. Now you've got full control over your smartphone through your Windows PC. And obviously this allows you to launch any app that is installed on your phone and view it on your PC. How awesome is that guys? I mean, I use this feature all the time. And lastly, to share the clipboard with your PC, click on this icon. And now if we copy some text on the PC, we will be able to paste it on the smartphone. So let's copy this 
Now let's paste it on the phone and just like that. Amazing, right? And this also works the other way around. So if you copy something on the phone, you will be able to paste it on your PC. I mean, I can't tell you guys how useful this shared clipboard feature really is. Another thing that I really like about Samsung Flow is that you can check your phone's notifications right on your PC by clicking on this button. And if it's a notification from a text messaging application like WhatsApp, you can even reply back without opening the app itself. And you can see we have received the message on the other smartphone. So Samsung Flow is awesome. Now Samsung Flow is actually very similar to Link to Windows and you can find Link to Windows under Advanced Features and here it is. So this feature also allows you to view and control your phone through your Windows PC and also copy and paste files between your phone and your PC and it will also show you notifications. So the basic functionality is very similar, although there is one big limitation when it comes to link to windows, you cannot transfer files that are over 500 megabytes. Meanwhile, Samsung Flow has no such limitations, plus you don't need a Microsoft account. So I personally prefer Samsung Flow over link to windows. So you gotta decide which app suits you more. I prefer using Samsung Flow because hey, there are no such limitations in Samsung Flow plus you don't need a Microsoft account. You can also share the clipboard across Samsung devices and this allows you to copy and paste text between them. So check this out. Let's copy some text on this phone which is the S21 Plus. And now on the Z Flip, we will be able to paste the same text that we copied on the S21 Plus. There you go. So this feature is called Continue Apps on Other Devices. You can enable this feature by going into the settings, then Advanced Features, and here you will find Continue Apps on Other Devices. And for this feature to work, both the devices must be signed in into the same Samsung account and also must have Bluetooth and Wi-Fi turned on. And other than the shared clipboard functionality, you can also synchronize the Samsung web browser. So as an example, if you are browsing a website on your phone and you want to open it on your Samsung tablet, what you can do is grab your tablet, open recents and press on this little button and the app data will synchronize and the tablet will open the exact same web page that you were browsing on your smartphone. So this is actually quite useful and an underrated feature that no one really talks about. If you've got one of these smart internet connected gadgets like this table lamp from Xiaomi, you can have the on off switch for this right here in the drop down notification panel under device control. And this allows you to switch your smart device on or off right here from the notification panel. You don't even need to launch the official application. And it also works with Philips Wiz connected smart lights. I use one as my video recording light and I can control this without launching the official Wiz application. So the way you add toggle switch for your smart gadgets under device control is by tapping on these three dots and then selecting manage apps. Here the phone will show you a list of supported applications. So let's add something from Xiaomi Home. So let's enable this and select the gadgets that we want to add from this list. And that's it. Now we will see these gadgets that we have just added in the device control menu. And like I said, this makes it very easy to control these devices. If you want to keep the battery of your Samsung Galaxy in good health for many years to come, then you might want to enable a battery protection feature. So drop down the notification panel, scroll down to battery and device here, then tap on battery. Scroll down to more battery settings. Here you will see a feature which says protect battery. Turn it on. So this feature limits the maximum charge level to 85% and the phone is gonna pause charging as soon as the battery level hits 85%. So the thing is, lithium batteries degrade faster when they are charged up to 100%. So by limiting the maximum charge level to 85%, you can technically help extend the lifespan of the battery for a little bit longer. I kind of followed these steps and took care of the battery on this 11 years old Sony Ericsson Arc smartphone and it still got the original battery that holds charge and is not even swollen. So I think it is a good idea to turn this feature on but if you want to charge your phone to 100%, say for example if you are going out and you won't have a charger with you, then hey, turn this feature off no problem. 
but if you are staying at home, keeping this feature on is a good idea. Now inside the same more battery settings, you can see that the Galaxy Z Flip has an exclusive feature called Performance Profile. This feature lets you tune how the phone performs in day-to-day -day tasks. Standard will give you a good balance between performance, battery life, and heat management. And light will prioritize battery life, make the phone run cool, while also maintaining good performance. Now I have been using the phone in the light setting and it has been great. The battery lasts about one and a half day and the phone doesn't even get warm with normal use. Moreover, the performance has been great. I haven't noticed any lags with this setting. So I would recommend that you try out the light performance profile if you want the phone to run cool and also want better battery backup than usual. This setting is awesome. There is also a hidden feature called the emergency mode and this disables most of the applications and will change the background into something simple with the dark mode turned on to conserve the battery power. And you get a couple of options like the flashlight button which toggles the camera flash and there is also this emergency alarm which is quite loud. That is definitely gonna grab some attention. Then you've got some basic applications and you can actually customize these. But yeah, most of the applications aren't exactly available for obvious reasons. And tapping on this button will dial the emergency services number. Now you can find this feature under settings, then scroll down to safety and emergency. And here you'll find the emergency mode. So this is a super useful feature in case you want to make the battery last for a couple of days. And you've got some extra stuff like the alarm in case of an emergency. Alright, so that brings us to the end of the video. And also, a lot of you guys keep asking me about the wallpaper. Well, these are my own photos and you can download them from my Flickr account. All of the links are in the video's description. And guys, if you have enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. That does help out a lot. Okay, so I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.